Hello friendos, it's Bella from the Bookish Badger and today I'm coming at you with yet another holiday adventure-a-thon vlog. Now it is currently exactly 2 o'clock on day 11 of holiday adventure-a-thon. I didn't vlog days 8 through 10 I guess because um I just didn't really have that much time to but I did get some reading done so I wanted to update you guys that I finished Cinder which I found to be pretty predictable at certain points like there were certain plot twists that I guessed like 250 pages or so before they happened so that kind of sucked but other than that I I was pretty I'm, I'm still continuing on with the series so I like it for sure it just wasn't as great as I had hoped it would be but I'm hoping it will get even better as the series go on goes on and I'm actually listening to the second book in the series right now. I'm listening to Scarlet, and if I'm able to finish that before tomorrow, I'm going to put that down as, like, the the cover buy challenge because I don't cover buy, so I'm just picking a book with a cover that I like, and I really like that cover. I really like the cover in all of the Lunar Chronicles series. Um, so that's what I'm listening to now. I'm going to keep listening to that because I'm going to wrap presents in a minute. Um, and that's where I'm at with that, and I've only read a few more pages of Holidays on Ice. I've read up to page 117, but that's where I'm at with everything. So I will update again later tonight, probably. I don't think I'll get a chance to vlog again before later tonight. And I will update you more with whatever is going on then. Talk to you then, you guys. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. It is now 11.29 p.m. Um, I got quite a bit more listening of Cinder- er, sorry, not Cinder, Scarlet done. Um, and it's- um, it's good so far. I like it. And I'm like, what am I? Four something hours into it? I'm just under seven hours left of it and I think I'm in like four and a half hours into it. Something to that effect. And yeah, I like it and I am <laughs> really tired and I gotta get up really early tomorrow because um, on Christmas Eve uh, my brother and I always make our grandma's like overnight cinnamon roll recipe but we get up like really early to start it because it's a really long process of punching down the dough and everything and we want to get it done by the afternoon so we have to get up he's getting up at like 4 and I'm getting up at like 4.30 so that we can start by 5 and have them done soon after that so I gotta get up early but I still want to read a little bit more. I think I'm going to read a little bit more of Holidays on Ice. I am making such slow progress with that, even though I really enjoy it. I have faith in myself. I know there's only one day left and everything, but I, it's, I mean, Holidays on Ice, I have like 40 pages left of or something like that. And Christmas Carol is only 60 pages long, so if I can get those two done, I can complete all of my challenges. Now, I don't know that I'm going to listen to all seven hours more of Scarlet before the end of this readathon. I mean, it'd be great if I could. I, you know what? I probably could if Overdrive had an option to, like, put it on a higher speed like Audible does, but it doesn't, so I can't do that. But Either way, if I get Christmas Carol and Holidays on Ice done, then I can have my entire path done. And I just updated my progress on that. I'm up to 919 pages read this entire readathon, and I'm really proud of myself because I don't think I normally like read that many pages in this time span period of like a week and a half. So this is pretty good for me. Anyway, I'm going to get to reading, then get to bed, because like I said, gotta get up in not too long from now. So, I will update you guys again tomorrow when I have more stuff to update with. Good night, you guys. Hey, you guys. 
Guess who's running on four hours of sleep? It's a me, Mario. Yeah, um, I got I fell asleep at like midnight last night. I read a little bit more of uh, Holidays on Ice then, and then I woke up. Well, I got four and a half hours of sleep for, if if we're being accurate here, because I got up at. 4.30 to start making cinnamon rolls and we will be able to roll them and everything at 3.30 so about half an hour now because it is currently 2.56 on the last day of Holiday adventure uh, I was able to finish Holidays on Ice this morning so that's good and I've been listening to my audiobook a little bit more. I am almost, just about, I'm just about halfway through that so that's going good and I am just about to start a Christmas Carol and by golly am I determined to finish that today because if I can finish that then I can finish my read of the odd path. I don't think, I really don't think I'm going to be able to finish Scarlet as well but whatever amount more I am able to listen to it will be more pages that I can add to my red pages so that will be good and I have more gifts and stuff to wrap because I only got to wrap two yesterday so that will be an opportune time for listening to audiobook and yeah that is where I'm at right now and I will update y'all again later so long That's right, it is 1021 on the last day of Holiday adventure -thon, and I just completed my path. I'm so proud of myself because I was getting a little worried that I wasn't going to be able to do it all, but I just finished Christmas Carol, and by the way, I just adored it from the first page, and my cat is going to get out of my room right now, okay? Goodbye, Stella. And it was, it was just, it was great. And I really have just enjoyed all of the books I've read this readathon. And I read so much more than I would normally read in one week. I read 1129 pages and I read at times that I would normally not read so this readathon was totally a success for me. I don't know what team is going to win. If it's Holiday Reindeer, of course that will be awesome as that is my team. But I will be happy for whatever team that wins and I know whoever wins. I had so much fun on this readathon and thank you to all the lovely ladies who hosted it because I just had such a great time and I really hope that uh, Jasmine at Novel Thoughts will do another one of these types of readathons because I know she did a similar one around Halloween and I would love to participate in another one of these because I had such a great time with it. So that will be the end of my holiday adventure-a-thon vlogs. This is the last one, days, what was it, 11 through 12, yeah, and yeah, so that's the end. I hope that you enjoyed all of this, and I would love to hear your comments down below if you read any of the books that I did and what you thought of them and if you enjoyed this vlog series and if you participate in the Holiday adventure -thon, any of it, all of it, please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, do not hesitate to subscribe for more content coming soon, and I will see you in the next video. Bookish Badger, signing off.